my channel. My name is Michelle if you guys are new here. If you guys are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support and for your love. And I really, really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Today, I'm gonna come at you guys with a Christmas gift guide slash wish list. Whatever you need, I hope that I can give you some good ideas for whoever it is in your life, whether it's a male, female, completely your call. I try to keep it as neutral as possible for everyone. So I really hope that I give you guys some ideas. If I do, please give this video a big thumbs up. And if I miss anything, then just leave me a comment down below letting me know what you guys are asking for for this Christmas. And I hope that this gives you some good ideas. So starting off with the stocking stuffers, we have socks. I feel like you can never go wrong with socks, fuzzy socks, thigh high socks, the ankle socks, completely your call, whatever you like. I personally prefer fuzzy socks for this time of year. Next thing we have is Christmas PJs. And my boyfriend and I, we got our first matching set from Walmart. I'm super excited to wear them this year. And we also got matching PJs for our dogs, all five of them. So I'm really excited to see how they look in them. Third, we have slippers. I honestly love receiving slippers. I just received slippers for my birthday from my friends Billy and Jenna. They're what I look forward to when I come home from work. Hand sanitizers. If you can get your hands on hand sanitizer, then I absolutely would. My favorites are the ones from Bath & Body Works. Next, we got pop sockets. I personally don't like them, but I know that they're a cute accessory for your phone. Next, we got gum slash candy slash their favorite chocolate. You can definitely put that in their stockings. Bath bombs. So I've always wanted to try the ones from Lush because I think they're so cute but I haven't, so I'm gonna put that one on my list this year. Next, I got their favorite DVD. So it's nice to have a physical copy of something that you actually really like, whether it's like your favorite celebrity CD. So for me personally, I would really love to have the Taylor Swift Speak Now album. That's my favorite album of all time. I also really like Folklore. Folklore was really good. So then I got face masks. The next thing we got is hair clips, scrunchies, and headbands, any kind of hair accessory. It's super nice. So next we got stickers. So I have currently been loving stickers. I love putting them on my water bottle. You just want to make sure that they're dishwasher safe. Next we got stationary supplies. So we got a journal, colored pencils, an adult coloring book. We got nail polish. If you guys like OPI, then I recommend getting from TJ Maxx. They have a really good selection and it's only $3.99. But if you get it from Target or Walmart, it's $10, almost $11. So the last thing on this list is mini jade rollers. So I like to keep my jade rollers in the freezer so that when I use them, it's just so relaxed such a cool feeling so moving on to our next section we have the affordable so the first thing that i put on this list is a robe i just got my robe from target for 30 dollars, and it's so soft i love it it's so warm and yeah because my house gets pretty cold all right the next thing on this list is a sweater so any kind of sweater i have been loving the teddy bear sweaters they're just so comfy so warm and i think that's super important but also the north face so my dad bought me a north face in 2012 and i still have it to this day and it's still in good condition so even though it was 200 bucks it was definitely worth it next we got a duffel bag got a hat any kind of hat a bucket hat well i like the hats from tj maxx i think that they're super cute next we have a water bottle my sister and i are obsessed with water bottles but any kind of water bottle is cute mugs they sell really cute ones at target an engraved wallet if you're gonna get anything like engraved or customized i suggest you do that asap because you want to make sure that it gets here on time a video game i know that the ps5 just came out next we got self-development books think and grow rich or how to win friends and influence people the compound effect sweatpants you want to make sure that you're super comfy sweatpants is my favorite thing ever next is a monthly subscription to hulu netflix Disney Plus, Spotify. My personal favorite is Disney Plus just because I feel like it's my childhood literally wrapped into one app and it's my favorite thing ever. It never lets me down. Next, we got a picture frame, pillows, the stress relief set for Bath & Body Works, whether it's the candles, shower gel, or the exfoliator, anything that's the stress relief, it just so good. Blankets, any kind of blankets, fuzzy blankets are my favorite for this time. If you're Hispanic, like the thick quilts, like the tiger ones, those are bomb.com. Where do you even get those from? I don't know. Backpack, any kind of backpack. I, I remember growing up, we used to use the North Face a lot, the Jan Sport, but I know there's like a new one in town. I don't know which one it's called, but I'll put it right here. I actually wrote this list last year, so this, this is gonna have a lot of things that probably we won't have this year. So movie tickets, I know some places are open, but I honestly wouldn't risk it. Amusement park tickets, same thing with this one. Just wait until it's safe to go back. A map frame, I think these are so cute. I got one for Denny for our anniversary. Any kind of earrings or jewelry, I can literally get it from anywhere. 
matching necklaces. So when Denny and I first started dating, he got us a pair of matching necklaces. We still have it to this day, it's just so sweet. It was such a sweet gesture. Um, a customized wallet, a customized keychain, customized socks where you can actually put your face on the sock, a customized shirt, a customized phone case, so I've been looking into Kiss 5, but they're a little bit out of my budget at this very moment. So a mirror. And we got some wall art. I'm actually giving this to myself this year. Next, we got acrylic storage. So for your makeup brushes, for your makeup, a curling iron. My favorite is the, the little pink one that I have. That's one and one and a half inches. Next, we got the Revlon, the blow dryer. Favorite thing ever. The best. 10 out of 10. And the last thing on this list is the Morphe makeup brushes. You can buy them individually, but I bought mine from James Charles' favorite set. So I think it was $150, but then I got some kind of coupon. Or maybe it was like $180, and then I had a coupon that dropped it down to $150. But it was so worth it. Definitely 10 out of 10 recommend more few brushes. Okay, so now moving into the high end The first thing on this list is a skincare fridge if you guys are bougie like that and you have space for it My favorite one is a teeny because they have like a nice marble one. I'll put a picture of it right here I tried to look for a dupe on Amazon, but they don't have one. So that sucks Next thing we got is LED lights. I got my LED maybe like more than six months ago definitely and my favorite thing ever, I use them every day and they're my absolute favorite. So my next favorite thing that I got was my projector. So my projector, I use it very often. This was 100% worth the investment. Next, we got a galaxy light. I think these are so cute. I definitely want to get one for myself. All right, so the next thing that I have on my list is the ATM deposit machine. So where you can actually like save your money, deposit it, and um, like withdraw. Next, I got an air fryer the ring doorbell the ring doorbell i think is super important you can never be too safe nowadays just want to make sure next we got cologne perfume sneakers i don't usually wear sneakers but i definitely want the white nike sneakers we have a baking kit like baking supplies next thing i got is a wax kit i use a gg student like wax kit and it was so good definitely pricey but worth the investment for sure and it saves you money in the end i just watch um like wax video like how to wax on youtube so next i have is the pedicure set so i got my mom this last year for christmas and i used it on her and she absolutely loves it kind of want to get myself one this year because i don't want to go to the nail salons anymore and the next thing is the gel nail kit from amazon this i definitely want i'm going to put this on my christmas list so I want to learn how to do gel my nails because at the end of the day, I want to save money and I can't just be spending like a hundred bucks every time I go to the nail salon. Maybe like once in a while for special events, but as of right now, I don't need to go. All right, so the next thing moving on into Apple products, we got a pair of AirPods. I bought my AirPods, my favorite thing ever. You don't even need to get the pros. You can just get the regular ones. An Apple Watch if you want to keep track of your exercises. I got my, I got my Apple Watch like almost two years ago. Two years ago? Is it already? I got my Apple Watch two years ago for Christmas. I still use it every day, my favorite thing ever. The newest iPhone or any kind of iPhone, any upgrade is very sweet. I won't be upgrading to the 12 because I have the 11 Pro Max and there's literally no difference whatsoever. I feel like they're running out of ideas at this point. The next thing I have is the iPad, the Apple Pencil. I got the Apple Pencil for my birthday. It's my favorite thing, I, I love it. So with that, I also purchased Procreate and that's how I used to do my thumbnails. Next thing I got is Peacoat. I really want a Peacoat this year. I've been eyeing it from Uniqlo and I keep getting the ads for it. Next, I have a speaker, whether it's the Beats Pill or any kind of Beats speaker or any kind of speaker really. A rechargeable phone case, you can never go wrong with this. Boots, a GoPro. When you go on vacation and you take your GoPro, it's so awesome because you can even put it on your water. That's what we use to record our Cancun vlogs and stuff like that. So awesome. A ring light for the YouTuber, for your content creator friend. I feel like it's so important to have a ring light. But honestly, nothing beats natural light. That's what I use. I, I like to record my videos on the weekends where I have all the natural light. Like I said, I wrote this list last year. So I wrote tickets to a Broadway show. And it's just crazy how much things have changed. Because I'm not too sure when Broadway is going to come back. Your favorite team jersey. An iRobot. The vacuum cleaner. Workout equipment, the neck massage, a thermal, a lap desk. So for me, I usually edit my videos from my bed. And that gets tiring after a while. A weekend getaway when it's safe to go. Tools, my boyfriend suggested this. He loves tools. He's such a handyman. 
tickets for a spa an air hockey table a camera so i want a new camera i want the canon ADD with the lens it's like a little creator kit but i will be saving my youtube money when i start making it so i just want to improve my quality but you know you want to upgrade sometimes and so when i have the money i will upgrade next next we got final cut pro for your editing friends i personally have never used it before though and it's 300 dollars, so it's definitely an investment next i got a memory card i bought a 128 gig on amazon it was like 40 dollars. if you're a youtuber and you record really long videos you're gonna thank me for this it's so nice knowing that you can just record for hours and not have to worry about your camera like shutting off on you or like your insufficient memory or anything like that next is a drone you can get some really cool shots my dad got a drone and he loves it a printer, a laptop cover, a yoga mat, workout clothes. I know Gymshark just had a sale. Silk pillowcases, a Polaroid, a facial mask maker. So I saw this on TikTok where basically you just put your like ingredients in and then it like makes a mask for you. Uggs. So Uggs, honestly, it's worth the investment. It's $200, but they last you for years and they're very, very warm. In the winter time, those are the only things that I wear. Next is the Cricut. I know these are very, very popular now. People use them to make stickers or whatever they want. And I just think it's so awesome to see people's creativity come to life. Concert tickets. When the time is right and things are opening up, I would love to go to another Taylor Swift concert. And then the last thing is a vacation. This is like the most expensive thing. But you can find some good deals like all inclusive when it's safe to travel again. So like I said, I made this list last year. That's why there's some things that doesn't really apply to this year. But I definitely wanted to include it. So and that is it for my list. I really hope that I gave you some kind of ideas for my 100 plus list. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Please do not forget to subscribe down below. Turn on your post notifications if you guys like my content. Thank you guys so much. I love you so much and I'll catch you guys in the next video.